<laughs> like, seriously, this is like creepy. Well, it's, this is gonna be like, gory and violent, I'm sure. You, you guys really sure? You, you're Easter bunnies. You sure? Okay, they're sure. Hey, I'm one for the story fandom, and I'm here for a hell of a boss. Episode 2. I'm worried. Here's the thing. So far in my experience with the two episodes of Hell of a Boss that are out there, the pilot and the first episode, there's always a joke that cracks me up. But there's a lot of it that just kind of creeps me out. I mean, it wasn't so bad in the pilot, but in that first episode with all the, the heads on the walls, mm, mm, mm. no, 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 no. Children should not be having heads on walls. Hmm. Bad. That is bad. So I'm a little worried <laughs> about this episode. Clearly, I'm not a fan of shows such as, or movies such as uh, Hostel, or Saw, or anything that involves chopping up anything. It's just, mm. especially fingernails. Oh, good. <laughs> Ever since I was learning about the Vietnam War and I found that they should torture people by taking shards of bamboo and underneath the underneath the fingernails it's just like I don't even like I gotta clip my fingernails or occasionally gnaw them off I, I can't do filing mm -mm. no 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 ah, it grosses me out makes me sick I don't know if there's anything fingernail related in this it's just that I don't do well apparently with this kind of stuff so I'm hoping <laughs> Like, dismember some people, okay? Chop their heads in half. Just don't go mounting said heads on the wall. Especially when you're like a five-year-old child. Anyway. Hell of a boss. Episode two. <laughs> I don't know anything going into this one, except I saw one person tell somebody else <laughs> that it was awesome. Also, if you're wondering why there's a bunch of random Mass Effect stuff right here, and you recognize that, awesome. There's a reaction for that already up on the channel. Uh, in the description down below, when you're done, click over there, watch it, you'll see me cry. Because apparently I cry at Mass Effect. Anyway, let's go ahead, pop open the reaction window right now, and watch Hell of a Boss. <laughs> mm-hmm. Sad, horny de demons, huh? Calling us, Stella. Uh, you get up. <sighs> Fia, what troubles you, my owlet? Daddy! Daddy! I had a dream! Okay, I'm sorry to pause it. It's just I was going to put captions on because I don't have the best hearing, but these captions suck. A really bad dream. No, oh, I turned them off. A nightmare. I was looking all over the palace. I couldn't find you anywhere. You weren't there. There, there, Via. It's okay. You're okay. When you're scared and you don't know where I am, you must remember, no matter what happens to me, I will never be far away from my special little starfire. It always seems more quiet in the dark. This is wholesome. How silence grows on you know this is bad, right? Wholesome is bad. Oh, God. Eat somebody or something. I mean, don't get me wrong, that's really cool. Can I have that power? Can I go to the moon? Just like magically? As the stars start to align, I hope you take it as a sign that you'll be okay. Everything will be okay. Again, this is strangely wholesome for this show. 
and really good music actually. Whoever this is is a really good singer. Now the moon's blowing up. Did he just blow up a solar system to put his daughter to sleep? That's actually kind of cool. Oh. Well, there went that. Listening to this song is called My World Is Burning Down Around Me. It's by Fuck You Dad. It's a band. Oh, how charming! So, are you two done screaming for the day? You know what I haven't done in a long, long time? I haven't taken you to your favorite place in all of hell. Why don't we go to Lululand? I'm not five anymore. You always were so happy when I took you to Lululand. What do you say we go there again? Have a day. Just the two of us. I'd rather kill myself. Mm. Anything is staying in this uh, house. Now, I'll arrange... I know how he's feeling here, because I also have a teenager. We're rich and we're hot. People want our money and our bodies. Our oh, money, maybe. That I don't understand. I'm neither of those things. I'm calling the only man who can... Me. What? Who can protect me? Us. Being part of the Goetia family is rather valuable, you know. <laughs> oh, please. I don't blame you. you. Good boss. Yeah, I really want you, sir. Me too. Let's three way. <laughs> what? Why, hello, my big dick blitzy. <laughs> <laughs> Special request. Oh, look, I just had a chemical peel, so you'll have to find someone else's face to plant that feathered ass. It's for my daughter. Ah, well, make sure she washes it. No, 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 no. I'm taking my daughter to Lululand, and I was hoping you brave little imps would accompany us. We're assassins, not bodyguards, okay? Don't invite us to shit unless someone's gonna die. I'll pay you. Pay me what? Money. Done! <laughs> Eminem, get in here! We're going to Lululand! Lululand? Lululand! <laughs> Lululand! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> no, no ad! Sorry about that. Ads. I wonder no more. This is work and work only. Me and my crew are not here to satisfy your perverted bird needs, all right? Hey, Dad, do we have to? Okay, yeah, hold on right there, sweetie. If you try fucking my little ass in that park, I swear to you, are so cute when you are serious. I'm literally going to be sick. Oh, crumbs, I knew today would be a lot. What do you need? Antacid, ibuprofen, morphine? That was figurative, old man. Oh, right. <laughs> but she said it was literal. What? Since I was a dog. It hasn't changed a bit. Oh, look! It's big, lovely. That is deeply upsetting. Oh, come on! It's fun. Well, it's about par it's for big most big carnivals big. I've no. been to. Theme parks always disturb me, especially no, the theme mascots. Park. Well, hey there! Ah, I'm Lulu. Welcome to Lulu Land. 
If y'all get hurt here, just try and sue us. <gasps> Look, Thea, it's Lulu. I have a question. Well, ask away, little girly. <laughs> is it true this park is just a really shameless spin-off of Lucifer's far more popular Lulu world? No. This place reeks of insecure corporate shame. <laughs> Why don't we go check out the rides? That chick's creepy, huh? Yeah, wait till her dad tries to fiddle your holes. What's that mean? Don't talk to me. I know you're a pervert under there. Yeah. <laughs> you really like this place, huh? I love this place! My parents would bring me and my siblings here when they could swing it. Money-wise. Yeah. The prices do seem rather criminal. I mean... That much for a novelty cup that you use one time? Cause it's Lulu Land! Listen to your hoe, Mox. How about I take the first watch while you two have a little fun? Oh! We gotta do my favorite ride! Oh yeah? Which, which one? Oh, crumbs! The lawsuit? <laughs> Funnel cakes, infinite suffering. Ice cream bugs. Stop that soul. <laughs> you know, it's quite thrilling to see you on the job, Blitzy. Save it, bitch, I'm working. <laughs> Both need to get a room. Hey, I am not a day hooker. What, I just said I'm not one, prude. <gasps> oh, look, Thea! You used to cry such tears of joy at this show. Oh, no. I hate, I hate that, that fucking, fucking clown. clown. Oh, Blitzy, <laughs> I need my bodyguard, please. <laughs> hey, 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 Implings, it's me, the robotic Fizzarali, shipped from Big Ozzy's factory to bring you a wonderful show celebrating Lulu Land spell with those to avoid lawsuits. <laughs> Fat platypus. Thing I can handle. Okay. One game, please. Ow! Strike one, little man. But I hit it. Mm, I don't know what to tell you, buddy. The target, see? It didn't go down. So yeah, <sighs> no go, bro. Uh, the heaven's wrong with this thing. Man, a real shame, I tell you. Ah. Another! I sing along with the Lulu band. Every boy, every girl, every woman, every man loves Lulu. Oh, how delightful. Oh, my, what good aim you have, Blitzy. Oh, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> So she, her accent seems to keep changing to me. Like she started off maybe British, but now she's Scottish. I don't know. I'm so bad with accents. I make more money killing people than you do being a cheap ass robo ripoff of an overrated sellout jester! <laughs> Someone's salty. Real or not, though, people love me. Does anybody love you? <laughs> no, but I'm really good with guns now. Dance, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Convenient 
Why the ads? In the middle of the video, I'm trying to record a reaction here. Here we go. Man, you're really starting to make this sad. You know, if you suck, you suck. Guess you won't win your hottie here a prize. Let me try. Oh, look at that. Lucky shot, baby. Are you kidding me? You, you, you charlatan. Hey, uh, get lost, pipsqueak. I'm talking to the lady. Yeah, appropriate reaction. Oh, hey, that worked. Sir? Oh, hey, guys. You should probably go uh, make sure Skullis is okay. I've got some unfinished business to take care of. Oh, what a mouth. <laughs> God damn it, Nathan! You ruined another bloody photo! Why were you even born? Octavia? Just leave me alone! Octavia! Um, I think I'm supposed to be bodyguarded right now. But how did she miss earlier? There is Blitzy. He's my knight in shining armor, not you littler ones. He's a... Busy being a fool. What kind of fool? The everything is now on fire kind. Octavia. I Sad hat. Not having fun. I didn't even want to come here. I'm sorry, sweetie. I, I thought you loved it here. When I was a kid and my parents didn't hate each other. My dad didn't flirt with a weird red dickhead the entire time. I'm sorry, Via. I'm sorry for everything happening right now. I know it's a lot. I, uh, I should have listened. I just want to go home. But home doesn't even feel like home anymore. You ruined it. This is some real emotions. Your mother and I, I just... I felt she's always been. I haven't been. Ha we weren't in. I, I'm sorry. I, I I don't have the words. Are you gonna run off with him and leave me behind? Go away where I can't find you. What? No. 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 Never. I'd never do that. Never. I think it's time to leave this place. You were right. You are too old for it anyway. <laughs> so, what would you like to do now? Oh, can we go to Stylish Coles? They sell weird taxidermy there. Hmm, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. You're okay sometimes. Thank you, Via. Thank you. Ah! Way to ruin another good thing, sir. Worth it. That slutty toy clown had it. Um, the, taking your wife, man. Okay. I like that episode. I mean, hold on, let's credits play first. Let's just start an ad. Let's start an ad. It started an ad, but I'm pretty sure you guys couldn't hear it, at least. I'll have to cut that out. Um, yeah, I like that episode quite a bit, actually. It didn't have the the laugh out loud moment of blending the phone or the hillbilly house is being blown up by the police that the first episode had. But it also didn't have any moments where I was like, oh my god, no. Like, I can see the potential. I, clowns don't bother me. Neither the animatronics. They, I, they don't bother me at all. So that whole scene there, fighting the robo-clown, was entertaining. It wasn't creepy to me. Um... I like the message there. 
I, I can't 100% understand where... God, I don't even know what his name is. The Owl Demon Lord. Where he's exactly coming from. I mean, I do understand where he's coming from. I'm a father. Um, I can appreciate wanting to connect with your kids. Uh, especially because my son is uh, 16. And I have trouble connecting with him. So I get the desire to connect. I get to having trouble doing it. But I would also... I love my wife. And I can't imagine ever having to be in that situation when you have to pick, you know, between trying to balance your family life that you're sticking around for because you love your child and your new... <sighs> Paramour, a la more, I don't know, je ne parle pas français, whatever, you know, the new love. I, I can't imagine having that issue because I can't not imagine being with my wife. So I can't entirely understand where he's coming from. I understand wanting to connect with your kid and failing. I'm sorry, Julius. I really am. Um, but at the same time, I don't really get the whole, you know, basically cheating on your spouse because you're not in love with them anymore. Even if I wasn't still in love with my wife. It just betraying someone who's that important to you. Because even if you, let's be honest, if, if you're not currently in love with your spouse, but you're choosing to remain as a family with them, I feel like that means that you're also choosing to remain not doing anyone else. This is not, you know, you and your spouse separated and, you know, you're moving forward with your life. This is, you are staying together, the, you know, you've got kids, you know, you're trying to keep a family unit going for them, which again, here's the thing, I come from a parent, a household where my parents were divorced. There's nothing wrong with divorce. Um, you can still have parents who can work it out and get along. Sometimes you can't. I mean, it's not, it's not like a destroying the family kind of thing. But if you are choosing to stay you know, as a family, then I feel like you're not just betraying your spouse. If you're, you know, particularly if you know how they're going to react and it's going to hurt your family in a whole, because he's hurting his daughter by sleeping with this guy. And, and I'd say he's a demon, he won't care, but he clearly cares quite a bit about his little girl. Um, and I think that beginning opening scene with the, the song and the exploding solar system was actually really sweet. I mean, I know probably billions of people die because the solar system just Goes destroyed, but I mean, it was really sweet. I mean, it was a really sweet song. Um, so I don't know. I like this one. I, I didn't have any big, huge reactions this time, though. And I'm sorry. But uh, if you like this, feel free to leave a comment down below. We can discuss if you want to get into uh, parents and sticking and cheating and divorces and, and, and all that kind of stuff. Like, if you think I'm wrong, by all means. I mean, don't be a dick about it, but leave a comment down below. We'll talk that out. If you want to talk about any suggestions I can have to connect with a 16-year-old kid who likes music and his mother and not me, like, they're best friends. Leave a suggestion down below! <laughs> don't do that. I don't... It's that's, that's That was just a joke. Um, so, yeah, we have a Twitter. We have a Facebook. Um, leave a like and a subscribe. I'm doing this weirdly out of order, and I guess I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much. And ignore the bunnies. They're just...